been set up outside of apartment four with the yellow barrier gate. Um, there was an officer there that was taking notes on who uh, that was watching the perimeter. Um, I met up with Sergeant Weatherby. Sergeant Weatherby informed me that Officer Hetherington was the person in to arrive, so I went over to Officer Hetherington and I got a brief statement from him. And have you also had the, as well as talking to Officer Hetherington, have you also had the opportunity to review the report that he has prepared for this case? Yes, I have. And um, it, what department does Officer Hetherington work with? From the Office of Department. And um, is Officer Hetherington going to be available for trial in the event that this case goes forward? Yes, he is. And when he met with Officer Hetherington, what did he tell you? I asked him to give me the specifics on the case. So what he basically told me was when he arrived on scene, the male subject identified as Juan Villa, approached him and told him that he had done it. And he asked him what he had done, and he told him that he had stabbed his wife. He then proceeded to put his hands in front of his stomach. So Officer Hetherington informed me that he went ahead and turned him around, handcuffed him, placed him in his unit, the case portion of it, and then proceeded to go upstairs. And did you have an opportunity during this investigation to um, see Mr. Villa? Yes. And do you see Mr. Villa in the courtroom today? Yes, I do. He's seated to Mr. Fink's left. He's wearing the detention, Sanford's coming detention, white and red uniform. And is he the person that was arrested um, or taken into custody by Officer Hetherington? Yes, yes. Do you want to make a record of the defendant has been identified? Yes, sir. And um, so after he took Mr. Mia into custody, what did he do? Officer Hetherington said that he, he went upstairs, at which time he, he found the victim in what we refer to at that time as the master bedroom. Um, she was on the bed. Mr. Carnesosa, the victim's father, was in there with the victim. Officer Hennington proceeded to do CPR on the victim. At which time, once the, the scene was secured, Nogales Fire was allowed to go in there and they took over um, the medical aid on the victim. At which time, he and Mr. Carnesosa stepped out. I'm showing you what's marked as state's exhibit number number 10, can you tell me what that depicts? This depicts the left side of the mustia where you can see, you can see three wounds, stab wounds to her left side, one close to her spinal, and then you can see an additional three on her right side.